Let's start with the key steps used in this SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Welcome to LoveCAD. Here is the easy to follow tutorials on teaspoon using surface tool in SOLIDWORKS. This is the drawing of teaspoon and I suggest you to take screenshot of drawing and practice later. And also I will provide you link below where you can download it. Now from the drawing. First we have to start with the top sketch and its dimension as you can see here. I am going to start from the top plane, select center line, draw a center line which passes through the center point. Now again make 3 perpendicular line from the center line which is at the section A, B and C as shown in the drawing. Assign the dimension. The first one is 22.5 mm. And the second is 105 mm. Adjust the center line. Now select center point R. Create an R from this point. Press shift and select these two points and give the relation vertical. Assign the dimension as 10 mm radius. Now again select center point arc and make an arc from this point. Assign the dimension as 16.5 mm. Now select 3 point arc and connect this two point by this arc. Give the dimension as 40 mm radius. Now add the relation tangent to these two points. Now again select three point arc. Create at arc create an arc at this point the dimension between this center line and this point is 9 mm and the radius of this curve should be 6 mm Make the relation tangent at this point. Now select center point arc. Create a half circle here. Give the dimension 6 mm radius. Select 3 point arc and connect these two points. The dimension will be 600 mm. Add a relation tangent at one point. So this is how our half diagram looks like. Now I am going to mirror the whole entities from this center line. Okay. 
This is the top plane sketch as you have seen in the diagram. Exit the plane. Now we are going to deal with curves on front view and section of the teaspoon as shown in this drawing. For this go to front view sketch normal select three point arc create arc from this point downward direction now again make a curve in upward direction next again make a curve in downward direction Let's smart dimension and assign the dimension. This is 84 mm. Twelve, 12 mm. and 54 mm the radius is 500 mm twenty mm and forty mm Let me adjust this curves. Give the relation tangent at these two points. Select center line, draw a vertical center line at the end of this curve, press shift, select this point and the curve, give the relation pairs. Assign any dimension this center point center line I am giving it 10 mm the dimension of these two point is 143.5 mm Check all the dimension according to diagram. Exit the plane. Now we will create planes at section A, B and C. Now create three plane at the section. Select right plane. Click on so. Now select reference geometry, make a plane at section BB. Now again make a plane at section CC. Go to right plane, sketch, normal, 
now select three point arc create an arc press shift and select these two point make relation horizontal assign dimension as 30 mm select point mark a point at the center of this arc next select this point and the arc and make relation pierce exit the plane hide the plane Now go to plane 2, sketch, normal, again select 3 point arc, press shift, give relation horizontal, the dimension is 10 mm radius. Let me adjust this curve for you. Select point. Mark at center of this arc. Now press shift and select these two point and coincident. Exit the plane, hide, now go to plane 2, sketch, normal, select 3 point arc, create an arc, press shift and select this 2 point, give relation horizontal, ok. Mark point at center, give dimension as 40 mm radius, press shift, select this point and this curve, give relation pierce. Okay. Exit the plane. Hide the plane. Now we have created all the three curves. Now check the curves. We have to keep all the curves bigger than the top sketch. Next go to the surface tool, select boundary surface, right click, select selection manager and select one curve only, click ok. Now select direction 2 and select this curve. Now see the preview, ok click ok. Now go to loft surface. Select these two curves. Adjust the point. Now for guide. Select guide curve. Select sketch 3. Now see the shape. Now again go to loft surface. Select these two curves. 
Sled guide curve as sketch two. Next, we have to extend this surface for the end part of spoon. For this, select sketch 3, convert entities. Now, select center line and create a vertical center line from this point give relation vertical now press shift and select this point and curve and coincide okay now I am going to trim the remaining curve which we don't need. Select trim. Delete these curves. Press OK. Extend the line up to which we want the curve. Now exit the plane. Go to surface tool. Select boundary surface. Select this curve. Now select direction 2 as this curve. Ok. So this is our basic surface created. Now we are going to use net surface command which will join these four surfaces. surface 1 2 3 and 4 okay as you can see there is one surface left now next select trim surface select the top sketch and next you have to select the surface you have to, you want to trim so i will select the outer surface as we don't need this okay so this is the basic shape of our spoon now select the thickness command give 1 mm dimension it will provide thickness to our spoon now edit the material Select any material and apply. OK. So this is how our teaspoon looks like. Hope you all will like this video. If you have any query, go ahead to the comment section. And also share and subscribe us for more projects. Press bell icon for updates. Thank you. This is Mrithunjaya signing off.